<clears throat> hey guys. Today I wanted to do a video on hexes, curses, and all of that stuff, right? So I'm going to, hey, hi. Uh, let me know if you guys can hear me. Can everybody hear me okay? Hello, hello. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, so I wanted to do a video talking about what is what are curses, what are hexes, and things of that nature. People contact me for work. People contact me because they want to hex people or curse people or stuff like that, right? And they always ask, what did they do to you? Because before you start, thank you, before you start talking about cursing people and hexing people, I think I got some glue right there. Uh, before, Damon, <laughs> he's snoring. Um, before you get into hexing people and cursing people, I always ask, like, what did they do to you? What did they do to you? How do they, hello, how do they deserve that? How are, how is that warranted to do somebody like that? Because a hex and a curse, you can't hex and curse people just because you want to. It has to be intention. They had to have, uh, thank you. I was trying to match my uh, dress. Um, they had to have wronged you. Um, it can be because you got into it with somebody and now you mad. I'm just going to curse them. They have to have had really wronged you or something like that. So I wanted to um, talk to you guys. Greetings about what is a curse. And I took my time. I took my time making notes and stuff because I wanted, I did not want to miss anything. I didn't want to miss anything because I think that this is an important topic. And I think, thank you. And I think it has to be explained good. It has to be explained in a way um, where there are no mistakes. So, uh, of course you can. What I think that I'm going to do is I'm going to type them up and I might put them in the description below um, because I don't want you guys to miss this. Um, I also know that I'm going to do a curse breaker spell, so to speak. I am going to put that down there in the comments below just so you can kind of have that. Um, I, well, I ain't that old. Um, so let me first start off and say that what is a curse, right? Um, a curse is the opposite of a blessing. It's the direction of bad or evil on a person, or it's the thing that forces from nature. Um, let me say this. You guys doing like sour jars and freezer spells and shit on them spells and freeze their ass and stuff like that. That's quite different from a curse or a hex, so to speak. Um, with a curse, like I said, it is the opposite of a blessing. A blessing is something are you speaking, you know, positive over somebody's life. Of course they receive it. They receive it so quickly, so well, so everything, right? A curse is quite the opposite. You're speaking evil intent, bad intent. Um, you're speaking over somebody's life in a negative way. You're wanting to destroy something. And a lot of times y'all contact me to hex people and to hurt people who ain't done nothing to you. Now, I'm not saying that you don't have the right to defend yourself in whatever method that you choose to do, but they had to have intentfully uh, did something harmful to you on purpose. Okay. What is a curse? Again, a curse is the opposite of a blessing. 
It's the direction of bad or evil of a person or it's what forces from nature. If you call yourself hexing or cursing a person who did not intentfully do something to harm you, it can backfire on you, especially if you are using deities, demons, and things of such. I have to say this. Holding or harnessing this type of energy, vibe, frequency is dangerous. As it was explained to me today, the universe, what we are, is a bunch of signals, so to speak, um, frequencies, bouncing sound, of, based off of nature and other things. Har harnessing the negative energy all frequency it's very very than does for in curses their hand eight or eight bitching are a bad manifestation. I'm speaking bad. I want something bad to happen. That's hexing and cursing people. I'm always asking that question when people think about that type of work is to be careful. It's to be very careful. We need to learn to watch what we say. Because a lot of times you speak time, believe it or not. With the universe being so much of energy because that's what we all are. We are very hexing a person, person a person, or something like that. <laughs> careful to be meticulously done because most people really which brings me to my next thing If you want to, and I'm really, um, I'm really um, saying this and teaching this because I want um, you to get it. I want you to understand what you are doing, what you are wanting to happen. Be careful with it. Especially if you are talking about using deities and demon things like that, because that's what you call borrowed power. Borrowed power. 
Borrow power comes from deities and demons and aliens or whatever it is that you want to use to help aid you to hurt somebody. But the tricky part about borrowed, borrow, borrowed, B, yeah, I'm from the South, B O R R O W E D, borrowed power. We are not the only thing that is living because these things do live too. However, they are not just connected to you. They're very trickster type of spirits. They will work for the person that you called yourself trying to curse or hex as well. If that person is able to identify that, if that person can see what you are um, doing, they can identify that demon. They can identify that energy and they can call it to backfire on you. So you have to be very careful, intent, intentfully so, when using that type of wording, that type of energy. Let me tell you something. If I'm doing work for somebody and I'm doing hexing work or something like that, I literally only use... I only do hexing work or separation work or baneful magic, which is another way, a word to say. Oh, that's some glue. Um, I only do that like once a month. Because I don't have time to be hexing for people and cursing folks and all of that. I ain't got time for that shit. Like, <laughs> I got too much other great stuff that's going on. I ain't got time to just be sitting up harnessing a motherfucking energy like that. I literally have to build myself up to do shit like that because that's not my natural disposition to be trying to fuck over people or fuck folks and hurt people. That's a lot of fucking energy. And you can't get that back. Okay? So y'all be careful with that borrowed, borrowed power using these deities and demons and whatever you want to call them to manifest negativity or hurtful things in innocent people's lives. Now, what I mean by innocent is everything that we do uh, or someone does to us does not warrant that type of work. The only way that I will do something for somebody, it has to be pretty serious. And pretty serious is, that's why you have a consultation first with your clients and you find out what's going on. Um, that's why you, you find out what's going on. You make a decision if it's something that you really want to do. I might talk to, in a run of a week, maybe 10 to 12 people that want to hex people and curse people. I might only do one. Because they really deserved it. Um, I've done work on. I've done work on people that have molested kids. The court system didn't believe me and they got away with it. Are they um, one I was working on? They were getting a divorce. The dude came over. He was drunk and he raped his ex-wife. Shit like that. Yes. But. A hunt. A hunt just. I'm going to hex you, 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 you over there, you, I'm hexing you. Man, please. Sometimes the best thing to do or to say to people is fuck you. Fuck you and go on. That's probably the best hex <laughs> or curse that you can do. Girl, fuck you. I don't, don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to fucking talk about that shit. I'm not going to keep talking about nothing. Girl, fuck that. Fuck you. Fuck all of it. Because before you would get me to go back and forth about stuff, that's pretty much how I be pretty much about everything. I don't har harvest negativity. I don't harvest like bad blood or want to hurt somebody or hurt people because they might not agree with my beliefs. 
sometimes the best thing you can do is not even talk. Let me tell you something. This is a big old world. And this is a big old world to the point that you don't have to deal with nobody you don't want to deal with. You don't have to talk to nobody that you don't want to talk to. And sometimes the best thing to do is just to shut the fuck up. That's the whole point of everything. A person has to be a mad motherfucker all the time to sit up and want to hurt people like that. Now, I will hate the motherfucker if they deserve it, but it's not very often that people deserve that. And when I do work like that, I'd be tired as fuck. Maybe these other warriors and shit be ready to do some shit like that. But not me. I, baby, let me tell you something. I am fabulous. And so are y'all that watch me. What the fuck are you doing with your fabulousness that all you want to sit up and do is hex somebody or curse somebody? But people do it. They do it. They do it. I'm not. <laughs> but people do. There is a word called atomic. Atomic level is like the most of leveling up. Atomic sounds. Signals. I'm not going to use that type of energy for something that's not going to be profitable, abundance bound, love intentfully. I'm just not going to do it. And I don't want y'all to do it either. That type of released energy is dangerous. And if you are not careful, that shit will backfire and it will fuck up your life. All of this shit looks good. Pictures and when we do that kind of work, it looks good. But what are you doing it for? Y'all be careful with that. Spirits are not exclusive. Let me say this again. Spirits are not exclusive. It has been said that I could be mean and hateful and I'm a bully. No, I'm not. If a person pay me to tell them the truth, I am going to do that. I can't help it if that's not how they received it. But everything I said was out of love. Because a lot of sisters want us to do work to bring a lot of men back. Because a lot of times that's what it be. That's what it be about. Um, thank you, Life is Breath. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's what that stuff be about. Please tell her to watch me. That's what that stuff be about. Be about some man not have told you no or whatever the case, and now you mad. Or if I'm talking to you, baby, I'm talking to you and I'm telling you how to live better. I'm not none of that, but I'm I'm real. And that's all it is to it. I don't want you guys to be sitting up hurting people or cursing people or hexing people who do not deserve it. Because let me tell you something. A lot of the reason why even hexes that I have performed and I have done my best, a hex that somebody else did, you didn't done yourself, you didn't try yourself, you didn't shit on this person so much that goddamn it, they name is already imprinted on the toilet tissue that you wipe your ass with. Thank you, Tresta. Thank you. Thank you. You wanna know why it ain't working? You wanna know why the hex ain't working? You wanna know why that curse ain't work? 
You want to know why? Because the cur the person that you're trying to curse or hex don't have malice in their heart. That's why a lot of times, and I'm not being funny, curses don't work on everybody. They don't. Curses do not work on everybody. Curses, hexes, they don't work on everybody. You want to know why? Hmm? Because a lot of people are protected. A lot of people are protected. I never want y'all to misconstrue. I never want y'all to misconstrue energy. I never want... I never want you guys to misconstrue energy because it is so essential and important. A lot of people are protected. And what I mean by protected, ancestors, their deities, generations ago, because they of their divineness, because of their royalty, because of who are they are connected to. So, as Sapphire said, you are covered and you are protected. That's why a lot of times you have to be careful even speaking negativity over some people's lives because you don't know who they are connected to. That's why. That's why. I'm not going to just do that to anybody who didn't need it. You have to be careful about stuff like that. You call yourself trying to fuck up somebody's life and then all your shit didn't fucking fell apart. That's how that shit happens too. You have to be careful about, I think that so many times people... <laughs> lives are such in shambles because they're taking the wrong type of energy and applying it to something else when they need to be doing something else that is more constructive in their own lives. Things happen. Misunderstandings happen. There are going to be people that will not like you just because you breathing. You walked into the room. Some of y'all get on these jobs. Some of these, some of these people. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Some of you guys um, get on these jobs and your supervisor don't like you or people don't like you um, that you work with. And all you did was come in and be trying to be, hey, y'all, hi. And they don't like you. You are going to be misunderstood. People are not going to like you for whatever reason. I had people say they didn't like me because I thought I was all of that. Did I say I thought I was all of that? <laughs> Did I say that? I just came in and said, hey. I just came in and said, good morning. Now, you could take that, but like, I'm a hex. Everybody in this motherfucker. Why would you give them that type of energy? Because at the end of the day, these jobs, don't nobody stay on their job no 20, 30 years, their whole life, and then retire from it. Don't nobody do that no more. And most time when you telling people, I'm going to hex you, I'm going to curse you. That's just fuckery and foolery. We ain't living in them ancestry days. And demons just ain't working for everybody now. <laughs> demons. demons just ain't working for everybody now. They just, they tired to shit. <laughs> they talking about these hoes half ass knowing what to do with me. I'm not fucking working for them no more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all, you know, y'all, 
All right, let me move on. I digress. Why do they work? They work, hexes and curses work because number one, y'all come closer. Y'all believe it. Y'all believe it. Somebody tell y'all something and they didn't found a sensitive area that you're sensitive about and you believed it. You believed it. You believed what somebody that don't even know you said about you. You believed it about yourself. And then they said, well, I curse you. And you believed it. That's why they work. And you're right. Your response should be, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you to speak over my life and tell me some shit about me? Bitch, you don't know me like that. (laughs) But again, that's what you should say instead of being like, instead of being like, oh my God. I don't necessarily believe in karma, but I do believe in the transference of energy. I do believe in what you give out. That's what you get. I do believe in it. I do believe in it. Um, As far as generational curses and stuff like that, there is, I do believe in that can happen to a bloodline. People just kind of sort of, but no karma is saying that what you do to people is going to come back to you threefold or some shit like that. I just believe in if you do the right thing, I just believe in if you do the right thing, regardless of the title that you put on it, if you do the right thing, you don't have to worry about stuff like that. I just believe in, I don't think that, I don't think that everybody going to have it right all the time. I don't think that everybody going to do it right all the time. I don't think that people are perfect. People are not flawed. Shit happens. And most of the stuff that we do is only based off of our life and what's happened to us in the past. That's how we judge. That's how we react because we're reacting off of the past in a new situation. Like I said, everybody don't need to be cursed. Everybody don't need to be hexed. Sometimes you just got to say, fuck it. Have a client ever made a mistake and asked to retract the spell? Yes. Do I do it? No. I don't reverse that. Whatever I do, I'm not reversing it. Um... Why does hexes or curses work? I said that they work because you believed it, number one. It's just like, y'all remember, um, what's the name of that? Uh, I almost said it. It used to come on HBO. It was a movie It was a movie about vampire. It was a series about vampires. True Blood. True Blood. So True Blood, you know, uh, they couldn't let... A vampire couldn't come into a house or something like that unless it was invited, right? And you could retract that invite and they would leave. That's how a curse is. You allow it in your life and then it manifests into every weak spot or opening that you have. That's why you have to cover and protect yourself. That's where a good bonding spell come in is. Well, thank you. My thought process is this. I bind anything away from me that is not for me. I bind it away. I bind it away. 
because I don't think that I deserve bad things. I don't believe that I can be cursed or hexed. I don't put myself in a position like that and neither should you. I'm a great person. I have a very loving heart. If I didn't, I wouldn't do this. Do you know how fucking easy it is to be sad and upset based off of other people's opinion, based off of what you put on here? People will roast and gag you all day long. But what does that matter? Because in my real life, all I have to do is log the fuck out. Because in the real world, don't nobody bother me and I don't bother nobody. I think I'm probably one of the most bo boring people y'all will ever meet in your whole life. I'm probably, you know what I like to do when I'm not working or casting spells or reading people? Watch TV, binge watch Netflix, um, Stir into my husband, bow head, his receding hairline. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm just me. I probably read a little bit. And I don't know. Be on Amazon. Do a whole bunch of ordering and shit. You know, do a whole bunch of ordering. Uh, shit I like. And then get to the cart. And look, and that bitch be like 800 some dollars. I be like, ooh, shit, let me, let me delete. <laughs> let me delete some of this shit out there. <laughs> but I'm not a witch all day. I'm sorry, Adrian. I'm not a witch all day. I have regular lives. Like my baby getting on my nerves. And... My husband, like being a wife, stuff like that, whatever. Like, I don't do this 24-7. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Remember, when people think that you are weak about something or people think that they can be in you over a barrel about something, that's an opening. That's an opening. So when they say that they curse you or they hexing you or something like that, then there you go. And that's just, that's it. <laughs> that's it. But, but the reality of it is you control it. A hex, a curse. Intended to invoke a supernatural power to inflict harm or punishment on someone or something. I don't do that kind of work for free. Number one. And I don't do that work all the time. I do bang, what I call bang for magic. I do that maybe once a month. Once a month. That's pretty much the just, excuse me. And I ain't, it's live. You heard that? Y'all ass burp too. I do this shit once a month. I'm not gonna, it, I mean, it really ain't no difference. You know what I'm saying? But I only do it once a month. I I don't need my motherfucking energy and the house all fucked up. And I ain't fucking doing it. I ain't doing it. Yeah. Have I ever done a uh <laughs> have I ever done a curse spell for free? No. You gotta have to pay for that. <laughs> Hell no, I ain't doing that shit for free. Shit, you work for free. Even on a bad day, you still take your ass to work. Even on a day when you bullshit and be on your phone all day, you still take your ass to work. <laughs> um, this is where I go from. <clears throat> I also tell you guys. 
a lot will um, being proactive instead of reactive will also change the way that things go for you as well. That's a way. That's a line of protection right there. Being proactive instead of reactive, meaning you already know motherfuckers gonna speak against your life. You already know people gonna have something to say. You already know people gonna have something negative. I have went been through so much over this last past week over misunderstandings and bullshit that I ever have in my entire life in the real world. You can read Psalms 91 and go on. I protect myself all the time. I'm, I'm always protected. And even with that, my ancestors are not going to let anything happen to me. That's not supposed to already happen. And people have to understand that too. We are all protected. We really are. You just haven't called that down. No, Starlight. <laughs> I love you too. You just haven't called your protection down and you need to. Let me tell y'all something. I want to I want to get y'all the right thing. Hold on. <coughs> Are you all right, baby? Hold on. If y'all look up, I want to um, give y'all something. And I want y'all to write, to look it up. Look up everything that I say. Look up everything I say. It says, this is in Numbers 23 and 8. It says, how can I curse those whom God has not cursed? How can I denounce those whom the Lord has not denounced? That's numbers 23 and 8. How can you do that? If you are gifted, if you are blessed and God has blessed your life, no man can curse what God has blessed. No man can curse what God has blessed. Not me, not anybody else. I need for y'all to understand it and to know that. I just want y'all to know that. Psalms 91. What she said, Arby. <laughs> okay. Also, let me give y'all something else. Because a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all misconstrue going through something and thinking somebody didn't curse y'all as well. Sometimes in the circle of life, in the circle of life, stuff is going to happen that we can't control. And it ain't nothing that we could do about that. We just have to go on. We have to persevere. We have to fight. Do a road opener. Y'all know y'all could do stuff. Oh, thank you. <laughs> y'all know y'all could do stuff. Y'all can work on y'all self. You hear me? Y'all stop allowing people to get into y'all head and make y'all think that you are a bad person or you didn't fucked up and you if you have a good heart if you have a good heart and you are a good person do your work don't be trying to hurt people now unless they fuck with you then you have a right to fuck with their ass back <laughs> But I mean, still, you know what I'm saying? Just how much energy do you want to give anything? <laughs> Remember what I said, y'all. Who God has blessed, you know, 
No man can curse him. That's in Numbers. I gave you out a scripture for that. I need y'all to know that. Y'all are everything. Y'all are everything. Y'all are everything. And it's really time that y'all see that. You have to look at the difference between uh, what's real and what you have made up in your mind. Y'all are everything. Make sure you are cleansing. Make sure you are cutting cords from stuff, from, from stuff. Get into Psalms 91. Cleanse yourself. Yes, Carolyn, if somebody fucked you over at your job and they caused you to lose your job and you want to get them back, good. But my thing of it is, y'all, be careful what you put your energy into. A curse, it's intended to evoke and conjure this thing to get somebody back. Just be careful with it. Backfiring is a motherfucker. I've never had anything to backfire on me because I'm very strategic in what I do as far as magic. I don't even really use a lot of magic for myself personally, to be honest. I don't. I, it really got to be something dire for me to start burning candles and stuff like that. Because I just don't do it just because. I just don't. Because I prefer to save my energy for something else like being a mom and being a wife. And cleaning my house and cooking and sitting out on my back patio. Is that we have a patio, Damon? Would you call it a patio? Okay. That's it. I love my clients. I love the work that I do. I love it. And I want you guys to learn how to love your life as well. And don't be so quick to tell me you're going to curse somebody and hit somebody. Y'all cut that shit out. Because if the person really ain't got the heart for it, what you doing ain't going to work anyway. That person had to already have fucked up ass openings and issues and stuff like that. So you were able to know that, find that weak spot and attack it. That ain't a curse. That's just you knowing you knew a weak spot and you can get them. Like I said... Be careful with the talking about you're going to use demons and stuff. Demons do work, but they trickster spirits. They work for anybody, even the person that you hexing, even the person that you cursing. Y'all got to learn how to educate y'all so y'all don't be so afraid when somebody say something crazy like that. The Bible says, Oh, well, thank you. Is it good to work with demons? I don't work with demons, so I don't know. I've never been in a position to want to work with demons. So I'm probably not the one. Thank you. I'm probably not the one to ask about something like that because I don't know. And I'm the first one to tell you, I don't think I know about everything. Let me be real motherfucking clear. I don't think I know everything. I do not claim to know everything. I don't know everything. Half the time, some of y'all tell me shit I ain't never even heard before. I'm just letting you know. Demons got to have an entry point. Okay. They got to have an entry point. They don't have that. That shit ain't penetrating. It's just like nutting a condom. When you nut inside that condom, that, that, that goddamn nut stay right in that condom. <laughs> Same thing. I'm just being, I mean, I'm, I'm using it as an example, but y'all understand what I'm talking about, right? The only time, only reason why, only way that the the cum or the semen can get you pregnant or something is got to have some holes in the condom for it to get out. Unless, of course, he got on a tight condom 
and it pops or something. I don't know, but y'all get what I'm saying. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, if you missed, the, go back to the beginning to see what I was talking about, curses and stuff, and what is a curse. A hex ain't nothing but just speaking. It's all mouth. It's all, what you say, coming out of your mouth. Spells or words. Spells or words. Be careful of what you say. You know, don't be just speaking some bullshit over somebody's life because that's what you feel like you want to do. But if you want to do that, go ahead and do it too. But you're doing it at a risk. At a risk that I'm just not willing to play with. I ain't fucking with no goddamn demons. Now, there's plenty of spell casters on here that do. I'm not one of them. I ain't got a motherfucking time for that. <laughs> I ain't got a motherfucking time for that. I want to manifest some money. I want to manifest love. Yes, I do bone readings. Yes, ma'am. Bone readings is a very uh, definite divination, by the way. Um, that's it. That's all. Y'all be careful with wanting to curse people and hurt people and stuff like that. Unless they deserve it, fuck them. And even after they... Uh, no, I don't have a, a, a video on that yet. And even out, if they hurt you, depending on what it is, still fuck them. People feel like you always got to do something in a physicality way. Believe it or not, time going to catch up to their ass anyway. Time is going to catch up to them anyway. And if they are a bad person and they hurting people or whatever the case may be, time going to get them. Can I teach bones? Yeah, I can. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all time. Um, what do you do if you don't like someone? Stop fucking with them. Leave their ass alone. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, leave them alone. Who give, at the end of the day, y'all, real shit. Why do you give a fuck if somebody don't like you? Huh? Why? Why, why do you care? I wouldn't give a fuck if don't nobody like me. And y'all shouldn't give a fuck either. Are they paying your bills? Are, you, are, are they feeding you? If they not, why? And besides, most people see you in a reflection of how they see they self. They probably don't like their goddamn self. Mm -hmm. So if they don't like you, how in the fuck, if they don't like they self, how the fuck you expect them to like you? They don't even fucking know how to fucking do that. That's how some of y'all get, thank you, Kim. Thank you so much, baby. I say to you. Why do you think that why do you think that so many fucking people when you walk in a the room they all frowned up? They don't like so I go and speak to their motherfucking ass on purpose. <laughs> Cause at the end of the day, what does it matter? I'm gonna say this like I said yesterday. If you guys are following me or reading me or reading my reviews or on my website, or if y'all are in my group or whatever the case may be, that means y'all have an interest in the craft, right? Y'all have an interest in the craft. That means some in some form or fashion, church wasn't all the way what you thought it was. That makes you that makes us family. Because we all on this path and this craft together. It makes us family. Family don't have to always get along. Now do they? But that still makes us family. Family going to fight. Family going to argue. Family going to be mad at each other. Family going to be all of it. But we still family. 
If you are on this path, if you are following the craft, we still family. So with that being said, I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope I kind of explained it to you. I hope you got something from this because that was my whole point. We are all, thank you, Sarah. Look at that. <laughs> thank y'all. <laughs> we are all family. And with that being said, Ashe family, I will talk with you later. Love you. Bye.